This city is called Mariupol. Before the war it was a large, prosperous city with more than 400,000 people. Now 90% of the city's buildings are damaged and most of its residents were forced to leave it. But more than 100,000 civilians still remain in the city. Because of the humanitarian catastrophe created by the Russian troops, they collect rainwater to drink, prepare food on street fires and bury the dead right in their yards in mass graves. Russian troops are trying to capture the city for more than two months. Why is it so important to them? Let's try to figure it out. The place where the city of Mariupol is located has been inhabited since ancient times. The modern settlement was founded in the 16th century by Ukrainian Cossacks. At the time it was already strategically important. The Cossacks knew about it and built a guard post to defend their colonies and the trade routes. More people began to settle here and soon a city was formed on this site. Back then trade played the largest role in the region's economy. 20 fish factories were built by the sea and they brought enormous profits to the merchants of Mariupol. As it became an important economic center, during the civil war in the Russian Empire all sides tried to seize it. In a few years power in the city changed about 17 times. Eventually the Bolsheviks won and Mariupol became part of the Ukrainian Soviet Republic. The war did much damage to the city, but it was quickly rebuilt. With the beginning of industrialization in the Soviet Union, Mariupol became a large industrial city. But there were also tragic events. In 1932 the region, like all of Ukraine, experienced a famine organized by the Soviet government. Peasants who fled to the city couldn't find help and died in the streets. Five years later the Bolsheviks began the new wave of repressions, mainly against the Germans and Greeks who lived there. More than 35,000 people were affected. With the outbreak of World War II, the city's industry was widely used for military purposes. It created armor for tanks and aircrafts, so the Germans recognized the importance of Mariupol. In the autumn of 1941 they captured the city. The occupation lasted 23 months and during this time the Nazis killed more than 50,000 inhabitants. About the same amount was forcibly taken to work in Germany and when the Germans realized they had to retreat, they destroyed the city. So Mariupol has been rebuilt again. Life in the city was peaceful until 2014. At that time Ukraine was already independent. With the beginning of the Russian aggression, Mariupol became one of the most important cities of the conflict. Pro-Russian terrorists from the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic briefly managed to seize Mariupol. Ukrainians managed to liberate the city, but for the next eight years it was often shelled by separatists. With Russia's outbreak of full-scale war, things got much worse. From the first days the occupiers tried to break through to Mariupol. The city has been under siege since early March. Approximately 14,000 people were allocated for its assault. It is important for Russia to capture the city as soon as possible. When it's done, these forces will be able to move in any direction. Such an outcome can give Russians a huge advantage on the front line. In addition, in Mariupol there is one of the most important ports on the Azov Sea. Sea is probably the best way to deliver military equipment and supply. It is relatively inexpensive and safe. Railway connection could become an alternative, but during the war it's unreliable. The railways are excellent aims for bombing and sabotage. In addition, in the south of Ukraine there are not so many of them. Also, the capture of Mariupol could be an important ideological victory. After Russia lost the first phase of the war and withdrawn its troops from most of the Ukrainian territories, it needs to achieve some kind of success. First of all, it would stop the decline of morale in the army. 
Secondly, the victory can be used for propaganda among the population. So, the future of the city is uncertain. Ukrainian troops retreated to the last bridgehead, the Azovstal plant. The war has seen that it is almost impossible to help them now. Most of the Ukrainian forces are busy repelling attacks on the Donbass. Also, Western countries still haven't supplied enough heavy weapons. But the city still has not surrendered. The defenders of Mariupol are doing important work and distract a significant part of the Russian army. In the description below the video you can find information on how to help them. Also, don't forget to watch these videos to learn more about the Russo-Ukrainian war. Goodbye!